Zendu Fitness, you're about to be a witness for the first ever Two Dudes on a Roof workout on the YouTube channel. Now, this is much more than the normal getting lean course workout that we usually have been producing this whole month long. Today we're doing something different. You see, back, back in the day, Dano and myself met each other in Austin, Texas, and we teamed up to create this workout called Two Dudes on a Roof. It was cool, we had a bunch of people join, it was a great community, and the thing that's different about those workouts and this one is that usually we just take you through a workout, but with this one, like we used to do, we're gonna add in a little yoga cool down session at the end, as well as a meditation. So you get to train your mind and your body today. Before we get into the workout, just wanna mention at the end, if you like it, please give the video a like, ask us any questions that you have, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more workouts like this one, and finally, if you want the rest of the Get In Lean course, we've linked it up in the first line of the description for you so you can go check that out, get in there, get your nutrition plan, get the rest of the workouts, get yourself sorted to get that zen dude or dude at physique. If you want the jumper up using this video, I'm gonna link it up in the right hand corner of the screen right now for you. It's the one that we use, we recommend. It's just the best out there. So it's the best. It's the best. Check it out. Zendu Nation, what's up? Brandon, will you please start your warm up? Let's go, baby. We got 20 jumping jack, 20 jumping jacks to start things off, guys. Get the blood flowing. Beginners, we recommend that you do this warm up like three times, maybe two if you're more advanced. Get the blood flowing. Great form, dude. This guy, this guy with his form, though. All right, next, 10 air squats, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what you want to be doing on these is coming a little bit lower, about 90 degrees or a little bit lower. So see how far my boy Zen Master F is coming down? That's how far you want to be going, guys. Make it count. Next up, 10 front lunges. We're front lunging, five on each leg. Now, when you come out, you don't want to, you want to take a big step out so that your knee, Brandon, show from the side. Thank you, sir. There you go. Your knee should not be coming out over your toe. Good. Big steps out, guys. I think that's enough. Push-ups. Push-ups, guys. All right, take a breather, guys, and then we're gonna run through that again, again. Beginners, we're only gonna run through this one more time in the video. If you need to run through the warm up a third time, please do so. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Catch a, catch a, catch a, catch a, catch up. Breath. I think I'm ready, Dan. Breath. Go, go. 20, let's go, man. Come on, guys. Come on, Zendu Nation. It's not about the time, it's about the intensity that you're working out at. So, what does that mean? If you are just kind of strolling around, jogging for an hour, that's not gonna do anything to your body. You have to be working out at an intense rate for a short period of time. Squat, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That form is what I am talking about. Do squats like that, ladies and gentlemen. What? Is this funny? Is this funny? No. <laughs> Front lunges. Front lunges. Front. There we go, guys. Good. Very good, Zendu Nation. Guys, also, like I remind everyone on almost every video, have fun with your workout. Go find a unique place to do it. It doesn't have to be a roof. You know, we're pretty high up here. But it doesn't have to be on a roof. It could be on a roof. But find somewhere enjoyable and new. Mix it up and have fun, guys. Good, B. We're going to start the workout here in a sec, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you like, and let us know, do you guys like these full-on workouts where I'm just standing here kind of coaching you through it? Is that more enjoyable? I hope so, because honestly, dude, this is like a really fun way to shoot a workout. Go ahead, my dude. Nice. Good, guys, good. Now, for walking push-ups, you want to make sure that you maintain a straight back as you're going with this workout, okay? Straight back, you're just taking one step up, pushing down, coming back in the up position, going back and doing another one and repeating that. Bruh, you got eight seconds. Come on. Good, ladies and gentlemen. And three, two, one, done.
And regular bounce, ladies and gentlemen, regular bounce. I'm gonna try not to get whipped with the jump rope here. There you go, B, very nice. Look at how he's keeping his core nice and tight. He's not a lot of movement, he's doing this perfectly. Not a lot of movement, guys. Elbows are in, wrists are controlling everything. Knees are slightly bent, feet are only coming an inch, two at the most off the ground. That's my dude, that's my dude. Go ahead. Guys, regular push-ups are next. Regular push-ups. If you can't do these, that's totally fine. Drop down to your knees and do knee push-ups. But the thing I want to see most is that your back is totally straight for the whole workout or for the whole exercise, okay? Good, B. Good, man. Come on, guys. You got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds. Up next, guys, jump rope run in place. Jump rope run in place. Same applies. If you look at Brandon's upper body, it looks the same as when he's doing regular bounce, guys. Nothing changes about this. The only thing is he's lifting the feet up slightly to let the rope come under it. Very good. Good, man. Come on, Zendu Nation. It's not about the time. It's about the intensity. Pick it up. Very good, very good. And five, four, three, two, one. Get down. Walking push-ups again, ladies and gentlemen. You're taking one step up, doing a push-up, coming back, doing the same thing, okay? Now guys, you also don't have to go super fast. If you are gonna start, you're gonna start to get tired as you go through the first, second, even third circuit, especially the third circuit. So when you're doing these, don't focus so much on going fast. Just go, as you see here, Brand's got a nice pace. He comes slow up, slow down, does one. It's all about keeping that consistency. And... Go ahead, regular bounce guys again. Turn up the intensity from the first circuit that you did with regular bounce. Each time you do jump rope, turn up the intensity on that specific interval. Oh. Good. Come on Zendu Nation, 15 seconds. Please don't fall out. Damn it. Trying to make sure the stand does not fall over right now. It's windy up here. Three, two, one. Done. Go ahead. Regular push-ups, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, we're on the second to last exercise of the first circuit, let's go. And again, it's not about going super fast the entire time, it's about going at a steady pace. Good, B, come on, man, come on. Good. Come on, Zendu Nation, all you gotta do, this is less than 30 minutes, do this and then you're done with working out for the day. <laughs> Good, B, five seconds, come on. Two, one. Go ahead, jump rope run in place. Last one, go as fast as you can here, guys. Last last exer exercise, excuse me, of this circuit. Being, losing weight with the jump rope does not mean doing a ton of tricks. It means being ninja-like and having your regular bounce and running in place form down pat. Down pat.
All right, so Dano had to bounce, and guess what? I'm here to coach myself and you through the rest of this workout. So we got walking push-ups, finish strong here, keep a nice steady rhythm, and we got 15 more seconds. Again, focus on keeping that core tight and just getting solid flow on each push-up, creating a 90 degree angle between your forearms and your biceps. Take a deep breath. We got jump rope, regular bounce coming up in five seconds. And right back into it. Just like every other exercise we do with jump rope, we're keeping that core tight, bringing our feet just barely off the ground. And all the movement really here should be in your wrists as you spin that rope and coming off the ground with the balls of your feet just about an inch or two. And really, probably more like a centimeter or two. You can see here, the rope is just barely slipping under my feet. Catch your breath. We got regular push-ups coming up next. So you don't have to try to do these as fast as possible. Really, that's almost impossible when you're doing you know, up to five of these circuits. So instead of trying to do them as fast as possible, keep them controlled and just focus on those contractions. Squeezing your pecs on the way up and allowing yourself full extension on the way down. And really just get into a good rhythm here. Again, if you can't do these, get on your knees and do knee push-ups. Coming up next, we got jump rope, run in place, grab your rope, take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Let's rock. You can see here, Dan was coaching me up a little bit, coaching you up a little bit, so I'll just tell you what he was saying. He was basically saying, just watch as Brandon tries to create a little movement as possible with his wrist and his entire body. You can see nothing else is really moving besides that. That man bun and those wrists and those toes coming off the ground just slightly. All right, we're going through the circuit one more time and you get a one minute rest. So let's get these walking push-ups here. Keep that core tight. Let's rock. Go. Just focus on form here. Again, you're not trying to kill yourself. You just want to make sure you get solid push ups and you just get in a great tempo during these circuits. The jump rope's really going to, where you're going to be wanting, wanting to push yourself as hard as possible. Here, you're pushing yourself, but you're keeping a steady tempo. So go ahead and catch your breath. We got jump rope, regular bounce coming up. And here we go. Keeping that core tight. Really pushing yourself here. Spin that rope as fast as you can. Give it everything you have. This is your workout for the day. Get it over with and get back to living the life that you love. Three, two, one. Take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, gather yourself. We're going back down to do some push-ups. And again here, if you get to a point where you can't do another push-up, that's okay. Get down your knees and do knee push-ups. The point of this is to make sure that you're constantly doing some form of movement. So if you get completely exhausted and you can't do any more, go down to your knees. And if you need to, just try to hold yourself in a static pose if you can't even push yourself up. Do the best you can with where you are right now. Awesome, so this is the last exercise of this circuit, then you get a one minute break and we're doing it again. So let's get right back into this jump rope run in place and let's go. Give it everything you have, last exercise here. Come on, get a long break after this, so give it everything you've got. You 
Ten more seconds. Push it here. Let's go. Push it. I know you're tired. Let's go. Three, two, one. Great. All right. So you got 60 seconds rest. Catch your breath and you'll get right back in with one more circuit. And we're right back into it. Walk and push up. Let's rock. Come on. Get yourself in a tempo here. I know you're tired. It's the third circuit. You've been pushing yourself, but really try to lock into the present moment and get in your zone here. Again, if you can't do walk and push ups because you're too exhausted, do knee push ups. Knee push-ups are always going to be your modification for any push-up exercise. Alright, right back into the jump rope regular bounce. And here, again, just focus on bringing those feet just slightly off the ground and spin that rope as fast as you can. Core tight, glutes tight, slight bend in the knees. Here we go, 15 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we're gonna get back down. We got some regular push-ups coming up here. Get ready to rock. Three, two, one, right back into it. Let's go. Get yourself in a tempo here. I'll say it again. I know I said it a thousand times. Don't give up if you can't do a push-up. Get down on your knees and do a modified push-up. If you can't even push out another modified push-up, then just hold yourself in a static downward push-up pose, like right where I get to the bottom. Try to hold yourself there. The whole point here is to put tension and contract those chest and arm muscles as we're doing these push-ups. All right, you got five more seconds. Catch your breath. Then we got jump rope regular, run in place. Let's go. This is where you need to dig down deep. You got 10 more seconds. Push it as hard as you can, come on. Push it as hard as you can. Give it everything you've got. This is where you see the results. I want you to understand right now as you're taking this breath. With each one of these breaths, I want you to feel yourself filling up with more energy and more enthusiasm for finishing this workout strong. Walking push-ups, let's go. So my boy Dana left, so you know I messed up the camera just a little bit here. You can see my, my hands just cut off, but you can see most of the form. You can see what's going on. Uh, hopefully, this isn't too much of a deterrent. And uh, we've already done a couple of these circuits, so you know how it goes. Here we go, finish strong, five seconds. Here we go, jump rope, regular bounce. I want you to push yourself like you never have before in this circuit. Let's go, come on. I know you're breathing hard, I know you're tired. You gotta push through it here. You see, I'm super tired as well. I'm skipping, I'm tripping over that rope and that's okay. You can trip over the rope, you can mess up. Just keep on pushing.
Here we go. Three, two, one, rest. You have two more exercises. You got push-ups, one more set of jump rope, and then you get another rest. Let's push it here, come on. Squeezing out these push-ups, great for them, come on. You got this, keep that butt down, keep that core tight. Contract in that chest as you push upward through the ground. You got this, come on, finish strong, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Jump rope, run in place is the last exercise of this circuit. So I want you to sell out here, give it everything you have. I want you wheezing, coughing. I want you dying at the end of the set because you went so hard. Let's go. Come on. Push it here, push it, push it. Let's go. You got 20 seconds left. Let's go, come on, push it. I know you're tired, but you've got just 10 seconds left. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom, awesome job. So for those of you who are advanced, you're gonna do this one or two more times. For those of you who are just getting started, we're about to do a little cool down that begins right now. So what we're gonna do here is you're just gonna watch me and you're gonna listen to my voice and do what I do. So go ahead and bring your hands over your head and back down in very Zendu fitness form. And what you're gonna start by doing is grabbing your left wrist and pulling it over your right side and pulling your left hip downward and pulling your right wrist upwards and to the right. And we're gonna do the same thing the other side, grab your right wrist and you're pulling your right hip down and you're pulling your left, or you're pulling your right arm up towards the sky. Really here, we're trying to elongate the body. And now go ahead and let everything hang down low, relax. Slight bend the knees. And I just want you to feel yourself, feel your, your back start to let go, and feel all that tension be released. So you're gonna come up with a straight back, and you're gonna let all that tension go. You're gonna come up with a straight back and let it go again. Now coming down into a plank, we're gonna slowly let ourselves down and we're gonna bring our chest upwards, little uh, upward dog here, into a downward dog. And so, apologize you can't see a side angle of this, but really what I'm doing is just pulling my hips upwards and I'm pulling my heels down towards the ground so I can stretch out my calves after doing all its intense calf workout, calf workout with the jump rope. And so now we're really gonna open up those anterior tibs, the muscles that are worked a lot when we're jumping rope, by doing your best to sit on your heels. Now if you can't do this, don't worry about it. Come as close as you can. So you can see I gave you the side angle, and now I'm gonna give you the front angle as well. And you're gonna be pulling that left ear down towards your left shoulder, and you're gonna be pushing your hand towards the ground. So we're really just opening up your neck here. We're, the main point of this exercise is to release the tension in your anterior tib, but I also do these neck exercises where I'm looking upward to the sides and down to release any tension in my spine that may have been created during this high intensity workout. So really here, this is a lot of just like basic yoga, really allowing ourselves to stretch our body out, elongate, and we're doing the same exercise here we did before. We're pulling our left side body open, really stretching out our lats, switching the sides. And you can take this at your own pace as well. I know I'm moving kind of quickly, but take your time and do this at your own pace. And so we're gonna open up that spine here by doing a little cat-cow. We're really, you're just, you're gonna be uh, creating this curvature in your back, back and forth where you are sticking your butt out and then you're elongating your spinal cord back and forth, and this is gonna help release any spinal tension that was created during this workout. So you're gonna take a deep breath in through your nose as you're coming up, and out through your mouth as you're creating that cat. And again, you can, make, you can pause this video and you can take a longer rest, but this is just the cool down that I do. And so here we're just opening up our hamstrings, and so you're gonna use your breath here to open up your hamstrings by breathing deep in through your nose and exhaling out through your mouth. 
and every breath in, you're feeling that tension, every breath out, you're releasing that tension and being able to bend your body down just a little bit more. Now there's no right way to stretch guys. This is just the cool down that I'm doing here. So if you wanna add something or if you wanna do a modification, you're more than welcome to do so. The point here is to really just focus on getting your whole body release, you're releasing tension throughout your whole body. And you can see here now we're working on the thighs. And we wanna feel good after these workouts. We wanna feel like we worked hard and then our body got the nourishment it needs. So that's where we're taking you through these stretches. And of course, you can adjust them to fit whatever you need. So stretching out these thighs here, letting that tension go. Taking any modification that you need. If you can't do the stretches I'm doing, that's okay. Modify them and make them work for you. And so you're gonna see here, we're gonna transition now into a little bit of meditation. So you can sit cross-legged if you'd like, but I want you to come back to your breath now. You can open your eyes or keep them, keep them open or close them, but I want you to focus on taking deep breaths in through your nose, feeling your stomach extend, and then out through your mouth and feeling your stomach fall. And really focus on each breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just focusing on your breath here. Take this moment to really appreciate the exercise you did, the nourishment, the health that you have that allows you to do this exercise. Appreciate your body, the opportunity to be here on planet Earth. And now we're gonna go into a full Shavasana. So take your time and come down to your back. So you're just laying down completely relaxed and using your breath to let go of any tension that may remain in your body. So another deep breath in through your nose, stomach rises with breath, and then exhale out your mouth, feel your stomach fall, and feel everything relax from the crown of your head down through the tips of your toes. And I want you to bask on how much you appreciate all the abundance that is in your life. A lot of times we think about what we don't have and what we're lacking or where we're not yet, um, where we aren't yet located in our life. Maybe we have a goal we've set for ourselves. But what I want you to do is focus on all the things you do have right now. Family, maybe friends, your health, the breath in your lungs. And I want you to appreciate how sweet it is just to get the opportunity to live. You could have been a tree, which maybe would have been nice. You could have been a paper bag. You could have been a cat, but you're a human and you get to play this game of life. And I want you to appreciate that. I want you to appreciate how sweet this human experience is. And go through in your mind, take as long as you need to, this, to do this meditation. And when you're ready, you can get up and you can go about your day feeling refreshed, knowing you did the right thing for your mind and your body. And you deserve all the abundance and love you can imagine in the world. So thanks so much for doing this workout with us today. I guess a namaste is in order. Have a great day, my dude, or dudette. Sweet, sweet ecstasy, yeah, you take me to